have you seen the iPhone 11? The Pro Max has three cameras. So you know we have to make one in miniature. I spent the morning making a new printable, the iFrog 11. We made phones with four different wallpapers. You can see a few apps inspired by some popular ones, like Google Maps, Ucar is like our version of Uber, we have Mail, a Netflix, and Instagram. Once I decide on which phone size I would like to make, cut out the front and back, and I'm very carefully getting around those lines. I always start a little wider out and then I work my way in when I'm trying to be extra careful. Take a small piece of poster board or cardstock, apply glue with a glue stick, place the cutouts onto the glue, being careful not to smear the ink. There we go. Allow it to dry, cut them out. I have to be really careful not to cut the paper. Use the glue stick to add more glue to the poster board and glue down both pieces again. We want this to be a little thicker so it's a little more durable. Cut them out. Now I was going to glue the two together back to back, but I'm not loving that line there. So I take one side, glue it onto another piece of poster board, cut out another set of phones, trim off the excess poster board, glue one of the newly cut printables onto the back. Now we have no center line and a much neater phone. And I ended up with two phones. I'm going to use a clear nail polish to give our phone a little shine. You do want to wait at least 30 minutes after printing to make sure your ink is fully dry. You want to allow the nail polish to dry between coats. This is like five coats of nail polish. It's given it a little bit of a shine, which is what we were going for. And it makes the color a little more vibrant and gives it depth. But since this is a lot of nail polish, it's going to take a while to dry. While waiting, I went back and added a template to the printables because I'm hoping we can make a phone case. So let's cut them out and glue them onto cardstock. Wait for it to completely dry, then use an X-Acto knife to cut out the little tiny window for the camera. For me, it works best when I score the line. That way, hopefully, the paper won't tear. After cutting out the window, carefully cut out each template. Cut thin strips of cardstock. Glue the strip of paper around the edge of the template. Now, this is a little tricky and you do have to hold it until it dries. So, get comfortable because this is going to take a while. If you let go too soon, that outer rim is going to pop right off and then you're going to have to start all over again. So it's best to just hold it longer than you think you need to, to make sure it's dry. Take more nail polish and paint the case. I'm using a glitter pink here and, and there's a tiny, tiny lip on the case and so I'm just going to fill that in with the polish. I try to take it all the way to the edge, but you don't want it to go over the little window that we cut out too much because we don't want it to seep on the inside. After painting, cut a small piece of a cotton swab. Make sure this doesn't go into the paint. I'm trying to cut away. There we go. Now I'm just going to cut a little tiny piece uh, about there. That looks about right. Ah, where'd it go? When you find it, place it into the paint right in the center. I'm trying to be very careful here. All right, and it should stand up. There we go. Allow it to dry. It's been about an hour. It's not completely dry yet, but it is dry enough to add another coat. This time, I'm going to take the paint around the sides just so everything looks like one piece. I'm gonna do a really thin coat around the sides just to clean it up. 
place it on a flat surface that it won't stick to and allow it to dry. While waiting, let's make more cases. I'm using blue and purple, paint the case with a thin coat of purple. When it's time for the second coat, add a little blue paint, then more purple. Use a pen to drag the paint. I'm trying to make a little swirly design here. Ooh, I like the way that turned out. Set it down very, very carefully and allow it to dry. Oh, I can't get the tweezers to open. No, there we go. Yay. Let's paint one all white and add gold glitter. I'm using pliers to hold it on the end right around where the plug would go. Yeah, right there. I was using tweezers, but after a while, my hand would slowly fatigue and then I would drop it. So I'm working with pliers because I haven't dropped one yet with the pliers. Now let's go ahead and paint this white. Lightly sprinkle it with glitter. I want a very thin coat here if I can manage it and allow it to dry. For my last one, I'm using tape and a jump ring. Take a small piece of tape, place it inside of the jump ring, then tape it to the back of the case. Paint the case with fingernail polish and wait for it to dry. I let them dry overnight and my little ring fell down. I had to use an X-Acto knife to raise it back up. Now that they are safe to handle, I use a little nail polish to touch up the ends. Then take a clear polish and finish them off with a thin coat. Once dried, take the case with the cotton swab, pick out a plastic gem, glue it onto the cut piece of the cotton swab to make a pop socket so our miniature models can hold them. Now here is the moment of truth. Will the phone fit in the phone case? I really hope so, because we took a while to make this thing. And yes, it fits! <laughs> it worked! And on the back, we can see the three cameras because you know the iPhone 11 Pro Max has three cameras. Now that is on there pretty good. I wonder if we can take it back off without destroying everything. Part of me wants to just leave it in there and call it a day, but my curiosity won't let me. So we're gonna just push right through the little cutout here for the eye hole, I mean the cameras. Yeah, I see some light on the other side. Just gotta be really careful at removing it. Everything is made of paper. And almost there. Yay! We did it! So now we can make tons of different cases for our miniature cell phones. Plus, I just thought of a new, easier way to make the AirPods. What? We're getting new cell phones. We need new AirPods. I am using a coated paper clip, a binder clip, white nail polish, and metallic paint. You can use silver nail polish if you have it. I just don't, so I'm using this. On the small side of the paper clip, bend it forward, score it right at the bend, remove the coating, there we go. Score the other side of the paper clip, remove the coating, there we go. Trim the end right after the curve starts. Place them onto the owl clip or binder clip so that part of it hangs over the edge. Take white nail polish, and add a drop to the end of the paper clip. So you get a nice little build up there and we're gonna allow this to dry. Add a second coat. This time we are covering the whole thing. When the paint is dry enough to touch, I gently flatten it a little bit on the bottom. That is coming out perfect. I set them outside to dry. Now I am going to remove them from the clip trim off the excess, add a little silver paint to the bottom, just a tiny bit, to make tiny AirPods to go with our new phone. 
Thank you for joining us while we made miniature iPhones and phone cases, plus a new way to make the AirPods. You can use your miniatures for magnets, dioramas, or whatever else you like. Check out our Instagram, My Froggy Stuff, for more ideas. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! And we